and welcome back. Today I am doing my January favorites. I'm going to share with you guys all of the products that I have been loving over the past month. Not really that much to talk about this month, honestly. I don't really have that much to talk about, so I think it's going to be quite a short video, but Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I hope you had a really great January. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is not makeup related, but I recently tried these claw clips. I got mine from shoppers, but you can pretty much find them anywhere. They're just the traditional like claw clips. I have this one and then I'm wearing the other one in my hair and I have been really, really enjoying these to keep my hair out of my face. Obviously not today with like the strands, but in general to just pull my hair back even if it's just like in a half pony or if I just pull everything back. I do like ponytails, but sometimes when I have my hair in a ponytail, I just get headaches from the strain and I find that these claw clips do not cause me that like headache strain or tension and I just I don't know I've been really liking them I feel like they're very effortless you can throw them on and still feel like your hair is somewhat done up like if I'm leaving my house to go for a walk sometimes I will just pin it back with this little clip and everything stays in place the size I think I got was a large I do have quite a lot of hair so it's not I don't have like thick hair I guess but I do have a lot of it and um, this holds my hair up really really nicely I used to have like this irrational fear I guess it wasn't really irrational, but I used to have a fear of claw clips like this because when I was a kid, me and my sisters were with my mom in the supermarket and some lady had fallen and there was just like blood everywhere because her clip had like, I don't know, like, you know, you know what I mean? So I've never actually tried one of these before. I've just been too scared to, but I finally just decided to give it a try. But anyways, I do really like them, so uh, that is my first favorite. And I have been really enjoying two different blushes this month. The first one is the Butter Blush from Physicians Formula in the shade Rosy Pink. I'm wearing this one on my cheeks right now. I've just loved this soft, dusty pink shade. Like, it's like a cool toned pink with a hint of warmth to it. It just looks so, so beautiful on the skin in winter time, and I have been really enjoying this one. I cannot stop using it. But at the same time, I also really, really love the Revolution Matte Blush in the shade Divine. It's actually very similar to... Um, oh no, this is the one I have on my face right now. It's very similar though to Rosy Pink from Physicians Formula. Like they're almost dupes of one another. Um, and I think that's good because I don't think you can actually buy this one anymore. At least I haven't been able to find it online to link for you guys. But it's just such a beautiful, again, flush of like winter pink on your cheeks. It's just so, so lovely. And I cannot stop wearing these blushes. Like anytime I've been wearing makeup, I've been reaching for these. They're just so beautiful on the skin. I love them. That's what I love about winter as I choke. Cool tone pinks in the winter is like, I just think they look so lovely and feminine and soft on the cheeks. Another kind of newer find for me actually is the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink Liquid Lipstick. The one I'm wearing on my lips right now is called Your Go To, which is like this beautiful pinky nude shade. I love it. I cannot get enough of this shade, but I also really like the shade eyes on you that I was wearing in my glasses video that I posted right before this one. I love the shade eyes on you as well. It's kind of like a warmer nude color. These lipsticks are so good. I am so impressed by them and I am planning on doing a lipstick week in March where I will swatch and review, do a full review on all of these. I do have, well not all of them, I do have four shades. So I will swatch and review them in a full lipstick week video. If there are any other lipsticks you'd like to see me review on my channel during lipstick week, let me know. But this formula is just amazing. It's a formula that I have never tried in my life before. Like I've never tried anything that is so satin and not matte at all. A glossy finish basically, but it dries down and it doesn't transfer. Like I've never tried something like this before. It's amazing. I really, really like it. I will have my full review and swatch video on these coming out soon, but I wanted to do like a little sneak preview of those because I have been really enjoying them in January. My palette of the month and also one of my favorite products 
This month is the Blueberry Muffin Palette from BH Cosmetics. I feel like I have overused this on my channel and you guys will see in the month of February when I post all my foundation reviews that I'm constantly wearing this palette on my eyes. It's just so, so beautiful. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I kind of went for a more grungy, smoky look, I guess, but I just love this palette. It's such a nice formula. The color selection is beautiful. It's something that is not that common at the drugstore, like finding these like soft blues and these metallic teals and things like that. It's not very accessible at a drugstore price, so I just love it. I love BH Cosmetics for their eyeshadows. They are truly amazing at making a good eyeshadow formula. So I had to mention this one again because it was my palette of the month. Okay, so my base products of the month, I ended up not wearing them very much because I was testing so many products for foundation February. So I didn't actually end up wearing too many of my base products, but one that I am wearing on my face is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop. I do really like this. It's very soft and natural looking on the skin. Kind of lets your natural skin shine through, but it evens things out. And it's not like a dewy finish, it's kind of like a satin finish, but it just looks very soft and velvety on the skin. And it's just one of my favorite tinted moisturizers. So I do like this one a lot. Again, I just didn't wear it that much because I had so many other products to test out. I also had the Marcel CC Cream that has SPF 35, which I did wear a couple of times. Again, not as much. This is like a favorite product all the time because it's just so, so nice on the skin and very, very natural looking. Plus it has that added SPF in it. So this is definitely a good product and I'm almost done it. Just trying to finish it up before June for my next pandemonium video. I did not wear this one really at all. It's the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. Again, SPF 30. I just purely didn't wear this one because I had other foundations to try out, but I do like this. It's not like my absolute favorite foundation, but I do like that it feels very um, comfortable on the skin. Like it is kind of a thicker, creamier texture, but it does feel quite nice on the skin and it has really nice coverage as well if you want a more full coverage look. And then my last foundation or base product of the month was the Physician's Formula Natural Defense Sheer Line of Defense Foundation. I also really like this product, but again, I just didn't wear it. I don't think I wore it at all maybe this month. I might've worn it a couple times, but I didn't really reach for it that much. It is good though. It is one of my more favorite natural, comfortable foundations to wear. I mean, all of those four are. I've been using them for a while and I know that I really like them. Then a non-beauty favorite that I enjoyed this month. It was actually a show I watched, kind of binged Bridgerton. It wasn't my like absolute favorite show. I don't know if I could really appreciate it that much. I was binging it when I was at my parents one weekend and it was just, it was good. I do like Regency era films. I love the Jane Austens. I don't know what I thought. I don't know what I, how I felt about Bridgerton. Like the story was good, but I actually really only liked two of the characters. Like I liked Eloise and I liked Benedict and then everyone else kind of annoyed me. But those two characters, Eloise and Benedict were really great. So I hope they get their own like season in the future. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't really like it as much. It almost felt like they were just trying too hard. And I don't know, I felt like some things were overdone. Some things were just like totally unrealistic for that time period. Maybe I'm just biased because I really like how BBC and Masterpiece do the Jane Austen adaptations. So maybe I'm like biased already, but I don't know. It's a good easy watch if you were interested in that. It wasn't my absolute favorite. And yet I still like binged it in two, in 24 hours. And that was kind of all I watched in January. So I definitely have more shows that I want to watch. And I, I don't know, I just kind of took a break from watching movies and shows. I really haven't been on Netflix at all. And then one book that I read and finished, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a kid book. Well, not a kid book. It's like a teenager, young adult book. It's Meg Cabo's All American Girl, which I just had to like, read one YA novel that I haven't read in a while and my friend let me borrow this one because I remember liking it. It is kind of tough. Now that I've like reread this, it's kind of tough to read these types of books. They're just not, like they're really funny and when you're young, you really, really like them. But like as an adult, it's kind of like just dumb. But it was just kind of fun to read something that was like super easy and not as like dense, you know, intense as the books I normally read. So I did read that book. I wanted to talk about this one this month 
really quickly because I'm not quite finished it yet. I have about maybe a third of the book left. It's just taking me a while to finish. It's the Robin biography by Dave Itzkoff. Itzkoff. I really only have like a third of the book left to finish. Um, this is really good. I'll probably talk more about it in February. I didn't do a great job of meeting my two books a month quota for the first month of the year. That was my resolution to read two books a month and I kind of failed. Well, it's actually, what day is it? The 28th today. So I do have like three days. I can probably finish this one in January, but I will talk about it next month because I haven't quite finished it yet in time for this video. But yeah, that is everything. I think that is all I wanted to mention today. This will be my last video in a while that is not foundation related because in the month of February, I always do my foundation February series where I do wear tests, reviews, first impressions on different drugstore foundations. So that will be coming out throughout the entire month of February. I do have quite a few videos. They're all pre-filmed now. And then in March, I am planning on doing lipstick week. So again, if there are any suggestions or any lines, lipstick lines that you want me to try or do swatches on, just let me know because um, I am going to start filming that for that, I think in February. So yeah, we're going to take a little bit of a break from my normal content. I don't think I'm going to do makeup I'm wearing this month for February or do like any winter makeup looks at all because it's just focused on foundations, but we'll be back to normal, I guess in March. So that sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you had a great start to the new year. I know 2021 is already kind of crazy and we're only a month in, but I hope you guys did have a good start. Thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one.